Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, September 7th, 2011, and I am Darko. Uh, GGNonline.com is my website. That's GGNonline.com. And on YouTube, DDarko2012. Also on uh, Facebook, I have a Global Government News group. Um, the links with all these links, uh, with these headlines, will be posted in YouTube's video description. Okay, I have a lot to get to in this uh, second video, but I would like to just say on this, it's just really sad because, uh, you know, most of those people that were included in there, I, didn't, I wouldn't even consider them Tea Partiers. They're just basically corporate globalist pigs that belong to the one-party system. That's why they always say, oh, we got to work together, bipartisanship. In other words, there is no difference between the left and the right, Republicans and Democrats, conservatives, or they call themselves conservatives, or liberals. So um, you have, like, libertarians and progressives. I would actually go on a limb and say those are probably the closest to a conservative and a, uh, a, a liberal. Um, but either way, uh, it just puts all those people in that group, and most of those tea par people that are Tea Partiers are just regular people. Um, they're not uh, just one color. Uh, there are other colors, but majority of them are uh, uh, white conservatives. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just uh, they're being lumped into a group. And uh, they don't like what's going on, and so they're going to be called terrorists and racist. And this has been going on since they, I'm sorry, since the Koch brothers joined this whole outfit and Sarah Palin joined the bandwagon. So when that happened, that's when the Tea Party officially became corporatized and taken over and hijacked. So that's why I made a video about, about a year and a half ago, maybe, yeah, about a year and three quarters of a year ago, um, basically saying to abandon the Tea Party. That's why. Okay. I have an article about um, basically smog, ELF smog. It's finally getting covered, and this is from a Sydney Morning Herald out of Australia, ear bashing, feeling the heat in the city that forever beeps, and is talking about uh, George Street pulses from moderate to high. It says the QVB is surprisingly low, but parts of Market Street are swimming in it. It's radio frequency radiation, and according to the consumer advocate Lynn McLean, quote, we are essentially living in a sea of it. Advises federal and local government on electro pollution and runs to, uh, runs her own company. Uh, recently took Fairfax on her tour and uh, with a radio frequency detector that measured levels of radio frequency radiation. It says because of the proliferation of mobile phone technology, cordless phones, wireless networks, most people are continuously exposed to low level radio frequency radiation. I think this is a big deal, guys. And a lot of it is causing a lot of health problems and uh, is going undiagnosed. So along with the chemtrails and the barium, you know, uh, ooh, you have a, a chronic fatigue syndrome or, you know, you're so anxious. Well, this is why. It's, you know what I mean? So, and, uh, and, a good, and a good way to tell you that it's not good for you is that where are most of these towers? Well, they're usually alongside highways and places where um, there's the least amount of people because they admit stuff from them. So, but I actually saw one in Chicago. It was in the middle of the freaking neighborhood uh, a wi-fi tower so russians test winter weathering altering technology and bid to control olympic snow that's right uh, this is from september 2nd russia was embarking on an experiment with weather altering technology in an attempt to control the snowfall in the country's first winter olympics in 2011 so and uh, are they experimenting it well yes geoengineering moscow mayor promises no snow this winter when was this in 2009 so th i think they've been experimenting on it for a while along with um the U.S. and China. So uh, China's also done it for the Olympics. They sprayed the last time over that uh, the cradle. And uh, I wrote an article. I didn't write a lot of articles for Infowars, but the one was, uh, do chem uh, chemtrails exist, but they do not exist? So go in there and check that out. I documented it. Texas, several large fish kills. Rain responsible for killing fish. So it says rain is responsible for killing the fish, but it's uh, really, it's, uh, say, what, low oxygen? Then we move on here. Hot weather means more fish kills. So say uh, it's basically going on to say that uh, low oxygen is causing it. So this has been going on a lot uh, with these uh, fish kills, and they're just basically saying, oh, it's the rainwater. There's just low, low oxygen, like in that video I showed about with uh, China. Okay, Mall of America visitors unknowing, unknowingly end up in counterterrorism reports. So it basically goes on here, and it says that the uh, FBI agent showed up the family's home asking if they knew anyone who might want to hurt the United States. So it's part of a counterterrorism initiative, and the security stops 
uh, uh, and, and questions up to 1,200 people a year. So uh, check that out. IBM patents your digital life. So they've been granted a patent that describes an idea on how to manage every move you make and every word you say with the purpose of storing that data in an environment that resembles the walls of your digital life. Of course, IBM has not invented this technology. It simply had an idea how it could look like if someone were to invent it. Who knows? Maybe they can use it in the FEMA camps, like the technology that they created for the Nazis in the uh, concentration camps, you know, for tracking the, uh, uh, the people in the camps. Who knows? It says here, industry shoe scanners are afoot. Oh, and it would be good for the economy, too. I just want to say that. Uh, maybe you can even uh, use the, the FEMA camp people um, for uh, prison labor, for slave labor, and that would make even more sense. And that's an also a growing trend that's going on, too. Uh, shoe scanners are afoot, so it says technology required for passengers to go through pre-flight security screening without taking off their shoes is just months away. So it is because they're, uh, they care about your privacy or anything? Uh, no, it's just basically said that uh, the device would scan shoes in three ways using technology similar to MRIs using in medical settings, explosive trace scanners, and traditional magnometer metal detection. So. Uh, there you go. Now you're still going to be um, basically radiated, body scanned, and all that. So good. Female blogger threatened with defamation suit for writing about TSA rape. And then we have Libya ministers agreed to rendition. MI6 was given ministerial approval for its role in delivering a Libyan dissident into the hands of Gaddafi. The Daily Telegraph said CDC strokes rise among younger ages. I only included this because I wanted to talk about. Uh, I wanted to mention uh, this article along with the uh, ELF smog pollution article. So I think there's a connection with that. Um, Gaddafi still in Libya as AIDS seek refuge in Niger. Then we have Gaddafi still in Libya, says uh, a spokesman. And going on here, that's a Russian say that, a prime minister. Spokesman says Gaddafi determined to fight his way back to power, and that's Gaddafi's spokesman. But uh, here Libya sends envoy to Niger seeking Gaddafi, but Niger says border cannot be closed, says his country is unable to close its border with Libya to prevent um, Libyan leader Gaddafi fleeing south. So. China does not recognize new Libyan government, the NTC, in Tripoli streets policed by vigilantes. They also have, I think, 20,000 police out there now being paid with the unfrozen assets coming from the oil. And, um, and we're going to move on here. New Western colonialism emerges in Libya. And, of course, if this happened in the United States, you think they'd let this happen? Vigilantes? Hell no. And eventually they'll just tell them to get out of the streets. And this is the thing. These firing these weapons up where civilians firing weapons and all that. Uh, that doesn't. It's not going to last long, guys. The UN's going to come in. They're going to. They're going to put in your court system, the police, and they're going to start the education system and the farmers and and uh, they're going to disarm you. It's going to be the first thing that they're going to do. So you did actually have a little bit of freedom where you can fire uh, guns into the uh, into the air, which you don't really want to do. But either way, you can do that. You ain't going to be able to do that much longer. So you just became less free in this quote democracy. New Western colonialism emerges in Libya, and this is a, a, a Chinese article about post-Gaddafi era. You can go check that out. Western companies crave for Libyan oil. Western companies are intense uh, in competition over Libyan oil after National Transitional Council, NTC, announced it respects the country's past oil deals. So the question is basically where is the oil revenue going to go now? So that's that's actually what I'm interested in seeing what's I mean, what's going to take place here. Is it going to go towards social programs or is it going to be semi-privatized or what? Terror blasts at Delhi. High Court 11 killed over 80 injured. And then it goes on here. It says Al-Qaeda affiliate suspected in Delhi blast. And who is that? The Harkart or Ul Jihad Islami Bangladesh. A cocktail of ISI, that's Pakistani intelligence, Al-Qaeda or Al-Qaeda and Taliban. So there you go. That's who's responsible. Um, it says here, Turkey's uh, Erdogan escalates tensions with Israel. Turkish Prime Minister uh, accused Israel today of acting like a spoiled child, but it's a, the Turkish government whose shows of pick was sparked by the fact that a UN inquiry did not back its version of the infamous Mediterranean, uh, Mediterranean sorry, flotilla incident. So, uh, yeah, it's really heating up right now in that area between Turkey and uh, Israel. It says here, IDF, Home Front Command, likelihood of an all-out Middle East war increasing. Home Front Command uh, chief says Middle East regional war could include use of weapons of mass destruction, warns that Arab Spring may turn into radical Islamic winter. And Israel just held an exercise 
uh, yesterday, the day before, about uh, basically simulating their nuclear facilities being attacked. Israel airstrike on Gaza kills one and wounds three. UN will recognize Palestinian state, says a poll, then U.S. and West Bank to stop UN bid. That's right, U.S. Special Envoy the Middle East has traveled to the West Bank to try to convince the Palestinian Authority to abandon attempts to seek their statehood at the UN. Uh, this was it next month. Iran criticizes Turkey missile agreement. And uh, moving on here, Iran revolution, matter of time, says U.S. Defense Chief. Why? Because he used to work for the CIA, and the CIA is involved in uh, staging uprisings and coups. So they, they would have first had knowledge uh, that they're going to do that. And they've already tried with those green revolutions or whatever it is. Uh, Suez color revolutions, it's all false. False provocateuring, suicide bombings in Afghanistan and Pakistan have soared in a decade since 9-11. So it says despite their histories of conflict, Pakistan and Afghanistan record just one suicide bombing each before 9-11. That changed dramatically over the decade since LCI to use the grisly tactic to use such devastating effect against the United States of America. CIA lawyers says Obama administration backed and continued virtually all Bush era programs, which is no surprise. Same party, Blackwater employees still in Iraq. Then Council of Europe demands truth on CIA black torture sites. That's right, U.S. supplied toxic tear gas to Bahrain. Of course, Bahrain protests are not being covered at all because the U.S. has their own bases there and they don't want any regime change. Yemen amends power transfer deal, and the Sali actually was uh, uh, working with Iran and uh, other countries and Russia and that, so the West didn't like that. Says here, UN leader urges world to unite and act on Syria, but China opposes putting pressure on Syria. Uh, Somalia leader uh, signs a roadmap, and basically uh, with the CIA drones striking and killing and uh, the famines, uh, this engineered famine going on in Somalia, now they're going to set up a, a, a new government, I guess. The Pentagon says more cuts would hurt defense sector. Defense industry could face or would face devastating consequences if the Congress fails to find a solution to start funding them. So, uh, you know, uh, all the blood and guts and death, and, you know, that has taken place in order for these companies to make money, God, I, you know, I almost feel sorry for them. I think I'm going to start crying. White House vigilant on 9-11 anniversary, so step up security. Security spending after 9-11 tops $92 billion, so a good way to, to get that going. Leon Panetta tours September 11th Memorial Park says threats of another terrorist attack remain very real. Well, they know because they carry them out. Harper says Islamicism, biggest threat to Canada, which a bunch of hooey. Don't call it ground zero anymore, says Mayor Bloomberg. Look at this. Look at this. This is like symbol. It's a symbol of all of your freedoms drowning into a black hole. Do you like that? Ground zero. Zero freedoms. Jetstar offers passenger $100 compensation for flying with a dead man. They didn't even do anything. They didn't even land a plane. But look at this. Bomb threat forces emergency landing. Another emergency landing because of a bomb. Another emergency landing because of a bomb. But you can't land a damn plane because there's a dead person. You're going to leave the lady on there for nine hours. That's ridiculous. Then we have uh, a Haitian getting raped by UN troops. Former German leader calls for United States of Europe. SNP plants single police force that's in the UK. Ten days in jail for late library books. Then WikiLeaks founder should be sent to a mental asylum, says an Indian. Then man found butchering cow in the driveway. Oh, you bad slave. What's the matter with you? You're supposed to buy it when it's all uh, uh, altered. Thank you.